Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Near Automata. We're playing as nines and we're gonna go right into this tower because I don't think we have anything else to do, right? Let's check the map, make sure. Looks like the tower is in fact the only thing. I don't see any other red marks anywhere else on the screen. Yeah, looks like we're good. I have no idea where A2 is right now. We kind of jumped into her and then we left. We should probably be saving, right? Just to be absolutely sure. I know I just saved, but I'm paranoid, all right? And bon voyage. So we have all the keys, so this should be easy, right? There might be a hack involved, but somehow I doubt it. It might be as easy just walking up to these and punching them, right? There we go. Okay, that was easy. Probably do the same thing over here. So what's really weird is... I'm pretty sure this is the body that Nines had. The other Nines. Not the Nines we currently have. But, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. So that's kind of weird. Uh, so I should be able to come over here. Yep, there we go. And then last one. Alright, I mean, at this point, it's just formality, right? We're just going through. We're making sure that they know that we know that they know. And now that all the subunits have been touched, now we can go ahead and touch this one. We should be good to go. This is a special prize, no doubt. Oh, no, we have to actually hack in? What? Hold Hello, on. And thank you for choosing tower okay, excuse me. We apologize for the inconvenience. But locks on each subunit must be deactivated before accessing okay. the tower. But I did, though? Or, no, I didn't. I only unlocked so I could hack in. All right, all right. I thought it was just a formality. It's not how this works. All right, we do have a timer. But I can get through these pretty easily, I think. I'm um, pretty go straight, if you don't mind. There you go. I should probably lock it on. Not that it turns out to matter. Oh, and they lose their force field entirely. Okay. Well, that's a good visual cue. I did not, was not going to pick up on that, but now I suppose I have no choice. All right, same thing here. A little bit different. I'm not sure exactly where I'm supposed to go, but I'll wind my way through here. Oh, okay, that was actually the easiest thing in the world. Yeah, at this point, just a formality, right? I mean, I don't think there's any chance of me screwing this up, <laughs> he says. Before he goes in the third one, where they launch a bunch of missiles at him and he dies immediately. Maybe? Give me some dramatic tension here. Okay, not quite the missiles I was talking about, but I could see where that would maybe be a possibility. So, okay, these guys are just gonna blow up. Do you target the guys I want you to target here? Thank you. Apparently, they can only target the ones they want me to target. I mean, I'll deal with you guys if that's what you want. There you go. And then going right here. Eight whole seconds left on the clock. Good to go. There you go. All right. Now that I've, we have accomplished this Congrats minor finale. You've unlocked all of the subunits. That means a special prize is waiting for you inside the tower. Yeah, he's in battle stance mode. To you. Not sure why that is, but it can't be for a good reason. I don't see any bad guys, but I guess this big guy that I can hack counts as a bad guy? Maybe? Okay, that is quite the Alert. long hacking. Enemy caution level rising. Cause is most likely concern over Unit 9S gaining access to tower. Alright, well, if that's gonna be your deal then. Hold on, I have to be able to lock onto these? I can't lock on. Okay, fine, you know what? Yeah. yeah. If you're going to make me do combat, I'd prefer not to, but if you're going to make me... Damn it! They won't stop coming! They won't stop coming, they'll keep on coming, okay. there's got to be a song allies in there somewhere. Allies? They're allies? Oh yeah! Hey girls, how Wait, you doing? You? Nine S? We've been expecting you. <clears throat> Okay, I'm so glad that they did not attack him. Will take things from here. 
be kind of cool. You need to open the door to the tower. Okay, thank you. I appreciate the backup. It'd be kind of cool if we play as them uh, next playthrough, right? Popola, what are you doing here? Remember your promise? What are you talking about? Come on, Nines. Hack in while you can. None of this makes any sense. We'll explain everything once we're inside. <sighs> we inside? Okay, I mean, they're doing pretty well. They'd probably do a little bit better if they split up a little bit, but otherwise, you know, that's, that's nitpicking, really. They're doing totally fine. And in fact, it looks like the bad guys can't even get to us because we're gonna say that the twins have master gravitic control and so they're sucking them in to one particular spot. So we don't have to worry about it, we just make sure that the hack happens. Okay, I We've did get this, hit there. You just focus on hacking. Nope, get it, get it, get it. Okay, sorry, sorry. Okay, she's trying to defend me, I do appreciate that. But I do need to start over every time because I actually get knocked down. It's not starting over completely, but... Um, excuse me, I need to not... Didn't realize it actually went down. Oh, I can't move from here? That's a problem. Right. Come in, like, as close as you can here. Come on, girls. I mean, she's trying to protect me, and I do appreciate that. But she's also attacking this thing, I think. So, yeah, it does count as a bad guy. Because she's definitely trying to attack it. I don't know if this is Donola or um, the other one, but you need to hack the tower lock. Oh, yes, yeah, so what I'm trying to do is if you're not actually attacking any of the bad guys, you're attacking the tower. That seems like a major bug to me. Should be almost done. Here we go. Now, of course, I don't want to do that again, but we don't have a timer, so we're actually totally fine unless I mess up royally here. So don't mess up royally. I think would be the answer to that. Don't mess up. You can't be destroyed because um, you're perfect in every way. There you go. Knock you out. Okay, these guys are a little annoying, but totally serviceable. Again, we don't have a... Oh, hello. We don't have a time limit here, so anytime we want to knock these guys out is good. Target this guy. we to go. I did get hit there. No, I didn't. I didn't. I actually got hit once. Oh, we're not actually done. Ha! Ah. Okay, so you're blocked off. Where's your bad guys at? That is not what I wanted. What's this barrier? Analysis. It is part of a closed defensive system. Well, the hell? how do I break it down? Hypothesis. Unit 9S could permit his self-consciousness data to lose control. What does that mean? The resulting energy surge has an acceptable probability of temporarily paralyzing the barrier. That's almost as bad as not going in at all! Lose control. What the hell does that mean? What happened? It's the barrier. <laughs> Popola! No, don't! <laughs> you can't do anything! The wall's got a self closing Enough. algorithm! Devil and I, we have to atone for our sins no matter what! <sighs> but if you do that, your circuits will. Devil! <laughs> right. <laughs> Not sure how that blew up the bot, but sure. <laughs> I hope you don't regret this. Be hilarious if we play as Popola now, right? That'd be pretty funny. I'd go for it. I guess not, though, because we change... We're in a loading screen. They were going to have us fight as Popola. The arena was already, oh, already loaded. There's no reason to reload. So, yeah, we're probably still playing as either 9s or A2. Not to mention, Devola and Popola don't have pods, so... Alright, hello? Pod 153. Alert! Data records discovered for units Devola and Popola. Okay. Maybe they do have pods? Do you wish to open this data now? Sure, do it. Let's find out some lore. Of course, it's going to be another loading screen as they load the cutscene, but still, I'm really interested to see what happens. Okay. It's the desert. Did they cause the desert? That would be really... I'd be surprised, but... Dusty wing kisses my cheeks. Alright, sure. Buried in sand, we press forward one step at a time. We have nowhere else to go, after all. Oh, did they make it from somewhere else? Because our models, the Devil and Popola models, are defective. Oh, so they came in from across the desert. Records, and just in the project's initial phase. 
When first we woke, there were still people. They had flesh, egos, emotions, souls, and they issued us a single order. Function as observers of Project Gestalt. Dude, that was a while ago. I think... Going off what we know of the lore, that'd be like 100,000 years ago? This is the sole mission of the Twin Devila and Popolo models. It is the only reason we exist at all. We were the latest model, though many companions shared our appearance. There was a sparkle in all of our eyes, a sense of pride having been entrusted with humanity's future. And yes, there was anxiety as well. Well, yeah, it was basically the end of the human race. But we existed as a pair. We shared Destiny's burden as a pair. And because of that, all hesitation was swept away. Each pair was given their own cities as observation areas. We were ordered to guide the replicants with our own hands, all for the sake of the promised time that would one day arrive. We were the only ones who can handle such a duty. We were observers, after all. And another shot of the desert. Ah! Watch out! Devala staggers and falls in the soft yet unforgiving sand. I hurry to her side and sigh with relief when I find she's not seriously hurt. Are you alright? Well, you already know that, because you already you've said she's not seriously hurt. Sorry, sis. Guess I spaced out there for a bit. She smiles, the same wry smile I know so well, as she rubs absently at her leg. It is wrapped in a white bandage. Your bandage is coming undone. Here, let me change it. It's alright, Papala. Come on. We have to go before we lose the light. We won't be going anywhere if Stan gets into that thing. Now quit whining and hold still. I'll be quick. Hold on. They're traveling the desert in daytime? Why? You should always travel, if you can, travel the desert at night. It's cold, but then you get moving. Now, granted, you're not going to be able to sleep very well during the day, but if you manage to find any kind of shelter, waiting out the hottest part of the day is a lot better than traveling during it. I mean, granted, they're androids, not human, but I would think the same principle would apply. Devola grunts and turns away. I take it as consent. Not how consent works, but okay. Soon we were resting in the shade of a nearby rocks that pulled the bandage free. Artificial skin, torn and bloodied, peeks out from beneath the bandage. Judging by Devola's current lack of ambulatory control, I imagine the circuitry underneath has been damaged as well. Taking a deep breath, I check the circuit to see if it can be repaired, replace the bandage, hope for the best. Oh, this is a choice. Yeah, it's a choice. You should obviously check the circuitry. I'm surprised they didn't do that the first time. As expected, wiring the nerve circuitry has been damaged. Replacing will require new connectors as well as some tools. We're, got, we're transitioning into a virtual novel now. It's kind of hilarious. We're like part RPG, part shooter, uh, really shmup, and now part visual novel. That's hilarious. None of which is easy to find in a desert. Sorry about this, sis, mutters Devola. That wry smile again. It kills me every time. Don't you dare apologize, I respond. You've done nothing wrong. I calmly change the bandage, trying not to let my worry show. I make it as tight as possible so no sand can slip inside. That's all I can do until I can get the proper materials. But that's going to be a tall order, considering our current condition. I'm sorry, sister. Okay, now you're apologizing. We both apologize while insisting the other's apology is necessary. It's kind of funny in a way, such a trivial exchange under such circumstances. We laugh together, the sound echoing out across the desert before being stolen by the cool evening wind. Alright, so the visual novel had no impact whatsoever, because all you can do is just repair the damage. Okay, regarding the incident and relapses. An increase in relapses. There has to be some way to prevent relapses. Devola's sharp voice echoes through our private quarters. You must be quiet, sister. The replicants will hear. They wouldn't understand if they did. That might be true, but regardless... Annoyed at my hesitation, Devola crosses her legs and scowls. The Black Scrawl took another victim, she says. That's three this month. It's spreading way too fast. Black Scrawl, you say? That's an interesting descriptive term because that's kind of what took over Eve. Interesting. Okay. Let's wait and see what happens. I'm tired of hearing you say that. Her shout makes me jump, just a little, but enough for her to notice, seeing that her eyes suddenly open wide. I'm sorry, sis. It's not your fault. I shouldn't have lashed out like that. It's okay. I understand. Actually, hold on. Thinking about it, isn't it interesting that Devil and Papula also come in pairs? And by also, I mean Adam and Eve came in pairs. Two pairs of androids. We've learned recently androids and machines share a common ancestry. 
common development branch? What would you call it? I don't know. They're they're almost like evolved creatures, so ancestry might not be wrong. So there's probably a, a correlation there. I just don't know what it is yet. It's all going wrong. You can feel it too, right? I, when I was first assigned to Project Gestalt, I was over the moon with pride. But now my chest hurts just to think about it. If it were to fail, before we knew it, the replicants had gained a self, sense of self and the Black Scrawl started raging out of control. It moved fast. So fast. Like a wind. Popola and I would go to the observation room and act like it was all okay. We'd talk to the replicants as if we didn't have a care in the world. But at night, we just hold each other and share the horror of it all. I'm glad you were with me, murmurs Popola. I couldn't have handled being an observer all alone. We were able to endure because we had each other, I reply softly. Did the humans see this coming? Is that why they made a twin model? Were they really so clever? Were they really so cruel? I couldn't have done this by myself. I would have descended into madness. I simply couldn't bear such a burden all alone. When I get the chance, I'm going to try contacting another city, she says. Maybe these abnormalities are a localized phenomenon. I pray that's the case, I reply. Even if we're of no use to ourselves, things will still work out if the other observers can pull through. Don't worry, it's going to be okay. But it wasn't okay. Nothing was okay. All thanks to a pair of Devila and Popola models from another town. This town? I don't know, maybe. The wind rubs my cheeks, the sand grazes my skin. It's grown cold out here. We walk with renewed purpose, hoping to make up for lost time. Devola loses her balance every now and then. It gets bad after a while. I slip myself under her arm so she won't fall again. We press on. Is your leg alright? Well, I doubt I'll be dancing anytime soon, but yeah, it's fine. She smiles as she says this, but I can tell she doesn't have much left. And yet she continues to smile, all so I won't worry. I remember when our resistance allies injured her leg. I was furious, beyond fury. I wanted to scream and cry and lose myself in it. But then she smiled and all that rage just drifted away. She smiled during that? Okay. To think we have the same face yet such different smiles. One day I realized how she reminded me of the martyrs I'd seen in old records. That was the day we decided to leave our town forever. Not sure which martyrs you're talking about, but okay. Record of Project Gestalt's end. Our role as observers ended on the day Project Gestalt collapsed. All due to the actions of Devil and Popola models from another town. With the original Gestalt lost, humanity was doomed to an inevitable extinction. Why would... Hmm. I must not know enough about the Gestalt project. Knowing this, we gathered what remaining replicant data we could find and launched it to the surface of the moon. And though success was as unlikely as finding a lost sand grain in desert, we still had to attempt it. So they're the ones? Holy shit. Okay. It's quite the coincidence. We still had to try. We were androids, you see. Protecting humanity was our instinct. Other androids, beholding that same instinct, began to direct their hate at the Devel and Popolo models who'd snuffed out humanity. It started small, a few offhand remarks, the occasional glance. But even the smallest things have weight, and with enough of them combined, that weight eventually became a boulder. I would go with avalanche as the analogy there, but I understand what you're saying. All right. Emotions boiled over, remarks became jeers, and soon enough, my sister and I were the perfect target for persecution. If not outright murder, but yeah. At first, we simply accepted the fact that our friends turned on us. It was almost unavoidable, I suppose. We were observers for Project Gestalt, after all. And while we didn't cause it to fall, the people who did, well, they looked just like us. I mean, it's basically android racism. Go against all the models that look like that. Because of what? They figure there's a fault in the programming for that model? It's basically racism. It's essentially what it is. So we accepted it. We just took the resentment and scorn. We endured. Because as crazy as it sounds, I think we actually felt responsible. Yeah, I mean, you get that sometimes for people who are the subject of racism. They feel like they deserve it. And that's probably totally not true. Actually, usually not true. We moved from town to town in an effort to avoid persecution, but in one such town, my seemingly infinite patience finally broke. My sister, Devila, met with unprovoked violence at the hand of a resistance member. She said something in response to his taunts. Something quiet. And though her words were ambiguous, she, he slashed her leg nearly in two. My vision narrowed. Everything went red. And then she smiled at me. It's okay, sis. There's nothing we can do. But it was too late. My emotions were no longer in my control. I'm simply not strong enough to stand aside, let the most important person in the world come to harm. Devola and I left town that same day. Violence like that wouldn't stop. It was going to happen again. 
and it wouldn't be coming from just one person. So rather than let them kill us, we ran. I guess it was the greatest resistance I could muster. We lose the sun as dark clouds gather overhead. We continue our march. Cold wind blasts us, stealing what little body heat we have left. I smell rain in the air. We continue our march. Sometimes we hear animals howling in the distance. It makes us flinch every time. But we continue our march because even this is better than suffering at the hands of our fellow androids. Why must we suffer this persecution? I know we're the same model as the androids who, drew, who doomed humanity, so I understand that part. At least, a little, anyway. But at the same time, we're not them. We're not the same. We are who we are, and that devil and Popolo were who they were. That's how I felt when I saw Devil being hurt. I wanted to shout at everyone. I wanted to scream. As far as I'm concerned, there's only one Devola. And for her, there's only me. No one can take the other's place. Rain falls from the sky. It stimulates our sensation nerves like cold needles. We need maintenance badly, but that's a pipe dream, I suppose. No android would dare help a pair of outcasts like us. Are you cold, Devola? I'm alright, as long as you're with me, sis. I feel the same. We press our bodies together to try and retain heat. It's cold now, much worse than the searing heat of, heat of midday. We just smile at each other and keep pressing on. Okay, so that explains why they were going in the heat of day rather than the cold of night. They actually fare worse. A little bit strange for androids to think to be super cool, but they're supposed to be as close to humans as possible, so... Alright. There's another camp on the other side of the desert. A new camp. If we can just get there, I can finally fix Devil's leg. And yet, I wonder if there's anywhere on this planet that will take us. Hey, what's wrong? It's nothing. Don't worry about it. I do what I can to suppress the anxiety in my chest and keep walking. The rain grows worse. It lashes at us without pause. Is this our punishment? I reach out and... I mean, it's all very touching and all to touch your cheek and all, but don't... <laughs> I mean, this is not the time. Just support her. As long as we have bodies to support one another, as long as I have someone with whom to share my fate, then I will press on no matter what happens to me. Because I won't ever stop protecting her. I won't stop. No one stops. But that is the fate we twin androids have been assigned. Okay, well they found some kind of acceptance in the resistance camp. The failure to manage the area resulted in the collapse of the Gestalt system, which led to the decimation of the human race. Due to the discovery of its instability, the twin system was removed from future android production designs. Following the incident, the Devela and Popola models were not dismantled. However, in order to prevent further unexpected behavior, they went, underwent a memory wipe. Furthermore, they were reprogrammed to generate constant feelings of guilt. Holy shit. The Devela and Popola models that are responsible for the destruction of humanity that's those are the ones holy shit why why though why wipe their memories and release them in the general populace some kind of twisted little redemption arc that is horrible and cruel and oh my god that is all that remains from their personal record during the era in which they were referred to as administrators i see query why do the androids Devola and Popola seem to prefer death over surviving alone? There was a very high probability that at least one could I... have escaped. I hope you never have to understand. Affirmative. Huh. Query. Why does this tower possess an entrance at all? All material transport takes place via aerial vehicles. It is irrational for an infiltration route to be so easily accessible. Hypothesis. Entrance is a trap. I agree. I agree. Entrance is totally a trap. I'm going to save because we went through that. Might as well. Oh, no, no quick save. All right. So we'll just save here then, I guess. There we go. Just to make sure we're in a good spot. And let's go ahead and go. I don't care. I just have to kill them all. That's a very A2 type thing to say. It's kind of weird there's a save point here. Since we're who knows how long or how far from any place we could theoretically upload to the bunker, if the bunker still existed. 
I mean, it's cool. It's kind of designed. It's definitely the same kind of architecture or maybe even just the same blocks as what Adam and Eve had created. Corrupted your units. Hey, don't worry about it yet. We're going to get into here first. Hello. It might be a weapon. You never know. Project Assault Report 9. Okay. So, hello. Um, I think I'm just going to destroy you. Yeah, I think you're just going to die. I mean, I could hack you, but why? Nobody knows why. All right. I mean, maybe it's possible they might have had something if I had hacked them, but... It's also possible they did not. It's very likely that if I had had hacked them, um... I mean, it'd just be another, yeah, another one of these arenas. Exactly right. Try not to die. Try not to get hit either, but, you know, if you have to get hit... Nope, that was bad. You know what, just shoot him. How about that? Yeah, the heavy hits there are really heavy. So we know... Okay, I was going to say we know these guys are conscious still. But notice they didn't blow up. They just fell down and faded away. Hello, and thank you for choosing Tower System Services. We're so pleased you've chosen to visit the tower today. Chosen? Don't forget about the special prize for the guest who unlocks the last subunit in the room just ahead. You're going to love it. Thought the prize was for entering the tower. You. Okay, hello. Um, if you just go ahead and stand right there, we're gonna just go ahead and take care of you. Don't worry about it. There you go. Suppose we can just jump over there. Yeah. All right. No reason why she couldn't have done the same thing, but okay. Anyway. Huh. I'm really curious. I mean, I realize this doesn't have anything to do with anything, but I'm really curious about the other castle. Because if this is it, if this is like the last playthrough, and I don't know if it is or not, then that means there was a way to get to that chest in that other castle, and I don't know how to, how to do it. I have no idea. I was checking for other chests around here. Who knows? There might be something. Okay, cutscene. Hello. Oh, of course, all 2B models. Just to play with your head a little bit more. Yep, just to drive you absolutely nuts. I like that they're not actually attacking. The tower's just fucking with you, man. That's all it's doing. It's fucking with you. Don't let it. I'm glad I got to see you here. I truly am. Are you, though? Are you? I'll tear you apart. Every last one of you! Um, okay. It's alright, we can hack him there. Oh, that's right, we had a little bit of the overclock because we managed to dodge at the right time. There we go, take care of you, take care of you. Oh, alright. Bashed against the cube. That was silly of me, but nevertheless, worked out. So you go, Kablooey. Not sure what that does for, like, you. I'm not sure it's gonna do any damage to anybody else. Oh, man. I don't think I'm gonna make this one. Nope. Nope. I let that bullet hit me. And I got hit there, too, but that's okay. That happens. Uh, nope, just go ahead and take you up there. And I walked right into that for no reason. Basically because I was too busy paying attention to what I was shooting rather than where I was going. Alright, well we got in there. And sure enough, I hit one of the cubes again. It does happen. It's fairly regularly. Dead yet? Dead yet? You are dead. You're dead too. And then I take care of you. There you go. So you explode. You take anybody out with you? I don't know. Maybe. 
And this is going to be a long fight. Because we're going to have to defeat each one of these guys practically individually. There you go. Come on. Come on. Come on. We're almost done, right? There you go. Just remember to keep attacking that lock button. And we're good to go. There you go. Yeah, I don't think they're grouped well enough. To me! Don't worry. I'm going to kill you now! Don't worry. I'm going to kill you now. Very reassuring. Yes. Okay, never mind. I, I was worried, but since you told me that you're going to kill me, I guess I'll stop worrying. The hell? Oh, don't, don't, don't. We almost got him. Okay, there we go. I don't actually know if she's actually taking damage from her fellow cells being destroyed. It doesn't really look like it. Oh, there we go. All right. Sorry, I ran into the box for no reason. Gotta trust that lock-on to work. Okay, lock-on there. There you go. And if it turns out we have to destroy each one of these guy girls individually, that's what we'll do. Boom, boom. I mean, there might be a special cutscene if you can't do it. That'd be hilarious. But I don't know if they put much that much thought into it. Maybe the game just ends. Yeah, see, like, that, that explosion should have taken out all the ones that were surrounding it, right? That seemed like that should have happened. Okay, I just got hit like two times there, and I'm gonna get hit again. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Yep, there we go. See, it happened. No big. We can attack her. I like it much better when there's none of those stupid red blocks. Much easier. Oh, excuse me. And you're out. There you go. Remember, you can't just tank the shots. It doesn't actually matter. Oh, hey! The explosion did actually work. What do you know? But none of them dropped any loot. Oh, wait. Okay, there's like three of them over here. I don't know why. <laughs> but theoretically, this one explosion should kill all of them, right? That's supposed to be how it works. Okay, gotta go through. There we go. There we go. We got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. No problems. Maybe? Not quite. <laughs> she apparently doesn't have the overclock chip installed, which makes her not the real 2B. Right? Because we know what chip she had installed. Oh, man. We are so close. Got wrecked for no reason, basically. Yeah, yeah. I got hit there. No question. But it might be worth it. Might be worth it because we'll be able to get her and that'll be the last of it. Almost ran into the shots there, but I stopped myself just in time. Alright, so what do we do to hit you? You're gonna come over towards me. There you go. That works. Yeah, no loot. Um, also, how are you not dead? Oh no, you are dead. But there's another one over here. Okay, you know what? You don't get hacked. You get sliced and diced. There you go. Um, so Alert. there's still one over here. Enemies detected. Still a few stragglers, huh? She was she's still twitching. That's disturbing on many, many levels. I think she's the only one who's twitching? Oh no, okay. Oh, alright. I mean I would have done that myself. But sure. Oh, of course. Are they all going to explode? So now we switch to A2, right? The idea is that Nines is dead. Let's switch to A2 real quick and see what her perspective is. We know she showed up to take care of the last boss in the last tower. That's the last time we saw her, though. Um, it should have a loading screen, though, if it's going to have... I mean, you could say this is a loading screen. Alert. Oh, yeah, the here we go. The structure known as the tower has opened its gate. Let's check it out. All right, um, let's actually take the moose. What the hell? We haven't gotten the moose for a while. You want to get up, sir? Actually, can we? Shoot, we can't ride the moose. Oh, no, there we go. There we go, it worked. Yeah, charge your way through. I mean, it doesn't actually take us very far. Will the moose die? Um, yeah, yeah, he died. That was a hell of a drop for the moose. Turns out he can't survive that type of thing. I was not aware. Sorry, Moose. I did not mean to murder you. <laughs> that was totally not what I was going for there. But um, 
You know, we have to do science occasionally, and sometimes science means that you murder moose. It happens. Are right, we gonna find Devil on Popolo's corpses here, or... Yep, yep, there are the corpses. Hello. Um, but they seem to have survived well enough to be able to crawl into each other's shoulders. Uh, you guys alive? Oh, hey. A2, right. They're alive. We went ahead and opened the tower. 9S is already inside. Do you guys need, like, healing? Oh, Emil. Emil's here? Are you shitting me right now? Emil is here. Emil, you gotta help. You gotta help, Emil. Shit, I'm firing at him, but he's not... Emil, you've gotta help. Shit, he's going away. I was really hoping we'd be able to convince Emil to help, but that is not apparently the case. Alright, let's go inside. Um, can I give you the guys, like, healing items or something? Uh, yeah, yeah, I yeah, know, already, but... Okay. I see. Okay, so I guess we're going Say. inside. But if you did want healing we... items... Did you what? Did we manage to help? Yeah. You did. And then what, they die? I mean, only Devil has been talking to us, not Popola, so I wonder... I wonder about her, but we'll see. Ding? Ding? There we go, there's the ding. Alright, so now we just wait in this very spacious elevator. It's incredibly spacious. Look at this. You put a couch in here, a bed. This is bigger than my first apartment. It might be actually an exaggeration. It's definitely like on the size of a studio apartment though. For sure. Alright. So um is Nine's gonna be happy to see us? Probably not. But I think we're basically in kind of a race to see who gets to the top first. So if they give us a choice, I'm going to continue with A2. Because I think she would make more sensible decisions than nines. Maybe not great decisions, but possibly better than nines. This is a Yorha corpse. Hypothesis. The corpse is likely a result of Yorha Unit 9S's advance through the area. Damn Skippy. Let's go. Isn't there a... There was an item over here, but I guess I was looking further away. Okay. Well, at least we don't have to fight all the same guys again. That's good. Meteorite, hey. If we were still upgrading weapons, that'd be quite the thing. But I think it's going to have to wait till next playthrough, assuming there is one. I don't know. Right at this point, I'm almost expecting the playthroughs to like, go indefinitely. Obviously, that's not true. But almost. Almost. Um, yeah, I guess we go this way. Hello. Alright, the bodies are kind of scattered in different places than where we... What's the purpose of this structure? Unknown. Proposal. Gather additional data. Someday I need to teach you how to be helpful. Meteorite just everywhere. I don't know how that works, but alright. Okay, so this is the last place we saw knights. There'd be a reason to go down... I mean, there's quite the dent in this. I have no idea how that happened. This is all flat when Nines was in here. So something must have happened. Very peculiar. Saving possible. Really? From where? If I were to save the game and quit right now, where would I pop? My guess would be the elevator. But it's still really strange. I mean, there's no story reason why that should be true, as far as I know. I'm gonna keep picking up these items. I don't know. I don't know if we need them. But it seems like, you know, they're right here. Why not, right? Moldavite, sure. Why not? If you can give me some pure water, I could actually upgrade my pods. That'd be fantastic. I think I'm only missing one pure water unit, and then we'd be good to go. That's all I need. One pure water, and we're good. Not silver ore. That's that's not pure water, though. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. It's a simulacrum of a library. I don't know if it's an actual library. I don't know if these are books. Hopefully they have titles on those finds. Otherwise, it's going to be really hard to find what you're looking for. It says library. Okay. 
I never really understood why you would want to show this eye. Hypothesis. It is a representation of a library. What's that? A library is a data storage facility constructed by past human civilizations. Hmm. I suppose we have to hack in to look at the data, yeah? Help me out, Pod. Affirmative. Hacking interface access rights granted to Yorha Unit A2. Wait, is that easy? Peachy. <laughs> it's that easy? You just ask for hacking ability and you grant and you get granted? Okay, I don't know where we're going or how we're gonna do this. We're not timed. Um, how are we gonna do this? We need to go past the light, so I have no idea. We're not timed, so we have all the time in the world, theoretically. Okay, it looks like we have to go around the long way, so let's do it. Yep, just go through this way, and we'll get there. There we go. That was it, okay. Whoa, that's a lot of library. Okay, this is an index, okay. I'm interested in all of this. So I'm pretty sure it's all a fantastic lore. That's only the index that doesn't actually tell me the actual information, as far as I know. This tower looks like a data gathering system for the machines. We got meteorite. No, see, water. I was asking for water. I don't know if you understand. Water. It says I want to go through the door. I don't know if that's true. I mean, there's no actual... There's no actual. That's actually what I'm going to say there. There's just no actual. There's supposedly a chest up here somewhere. Might even be two of them. Lots of meteorite, in case you were looking. Okay, you know what? Let's try the other hack. Because why not, right? Hello? Okay, obviously that's not going to work. So there's probably bad guys, like, down this way. And this is all by itself, maybe, you know? I will destroy every block in here if I need to. I mean, that's exactly what I need to do. I just need to destroy every single block here. Obviously, I can't destroy the white blocks because they're immune to some reason. Okay. Maybe each one of these all by themselves. Shield's still up. One more. Oh, there we go. Yep, that did it. Then it might even be a reward or something. Human server records. Predicted server ser human server infiltration route. Demi protection installation map. Genetic storage warehouse location information. Okay, I'm not sure what that's telling me, but all right. These records are from the human server on the moon. The machines hacked that deep into the system, huh? Or they were just granted access, however that's supposed to work. Gold ore. Okay, so there should be a chest in here, and there is. And it's an office. Or, rather, the imitation of one. Gold ore, I don't understand the materials being left here. Like, thick dictionary is a piece of ore, a piece of loot that could be dropped here. But no, they've decided to go for things you might actually be able to use. Oh, hey, these things are actually... I mean, that's kind of cool. I can't zoom in on any of these, which is too bad, because there's some detail work that I really want to look at. It's kind of cool, though. Medium recovery. I mean, the... The items themselves don't matter, but, like... There's some really interesting... Like, I don't know what this one is. The middle shelf, second column. That's supposed to be 2B? Maybe 2B and A2? Maybe. And there's the opera singer down to the bottom left. Yeah, it's like a lot of the bosses. Adam and Eve could be the middle one on this one. It's really cool. Alright, so that'll do it for this episode, guys. Thank you for watching. This has been Near Automata on PC Universe, your PC Universe 2. And I'll see you guys next time.